Hey guys, I was inspired to make one more video here. I wanted to go over tree pruning and show you a little bit how that works and the purpose and function of what we are doing. I'm going to show you first a mulberry tree. On this mulberry tree, as we step back, you can see that all the branches are going upward and most of them are going away from the central trunk or central leader of this tree. Um, aside from maybe a few that are going inward. But the goal I like to try to create is everything upward and outward is good. And I try to prune and trim anything that goes inward or essentially downward to a certain point. So we want up and out. And what we're trying to create, if you can see this tree behind me, is like a big umbrella shape. Uh, with no branches down at the bottom and then an upward umbrella shape at the top. Uh, the key is to trim it in such a way that once it reaches an umbrella shape over your head where you can reach the fruits, then we trim all the branches to go downwards. And then it makes it easier to harvest the fruits. It creates a shade canopy, um, but all the fruit is still accessible. And then we continue to top the tree or cut the upward branches to keep it at that umbrella shape. Um, and continue to prune all the branches down underneath. I'm going to show you real quick on this mango. Some of the branches got really long and heavy, and some of the fruit is touching the ground. Um, it's hard to know sometimes how far to prune up the trees, but think of the weight of the fruit, and if the fruit is touching the ground and something were to eat that um, and still be connected to the tree, it would breed disease, uh, fungal bacteria, things that were in the soil or in the animal's mouth um, would be able to go into the tree. So we want everything raised up off of the ground and make an area underneath. So again, create that umbrella shape. This one could be pruned a little higher. Um, because these branches are going to dangle down and get heavy um, and be accessible for us. Anything that is above our head is still can be accessed by animals, and I would rather have them eat the things that I can't access anyway uh, than the fruit that I want. Um, so any of these branches in here that are going downwards, we're going to take off. Um, it did split really well here in the middle, so we're going to keep these larger branches and just anything that's going down, we're going to take off at this point. And then we're really going to shorten up the branches and take off a little bit from the top uh, to keep this umbrella shape accessible to us and growing properly. And then just real quick on that note, I'm going to show you what we're doing underneath our other mango tree. As you can see, we have turmeric. These grassy things are chives. And this little leaf here on the end is comfrey. Um, and these are typically shade loving plants so they do really well under this mango um, the turmeric and chives and comfrey um, the comfrey is going to feed it more the turmeric and chives is going to protect it um, they have antiviral antibacterial properties um, and they're really good for the soil and the microbes underneath there so that's just a little bit about pruning why we do it and how we do it uh, i'll have more videos on this to come so have fun growing and much love